my name is Kelvin Reed, and today is Monday. Hope you all had a successful trading day and also ended last week up. On last Friday, you all know the jobs reports came out and the market boomed. But before we get into that, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make videos. All right, so let's talk about it, right? Today, Monday, y'all know I always got to start y'all Mondays off with some type of motivation, right? Motivation. So the word for this week is, right, consolidation, right? Consolidate all of your just different things, right? Your debt, your finances, all that different stuff. It's easier to kind of put lump it all together and pay it off that way. So consolidation. The thing that made me bring that word up is a lot of people are... So I have a lot of people out here trying to buy 10 to 20 stocks, right? And I always recommend, hey, get a few, get a couple good ones, you know, break it down, sell sell a lot, some of the, the losers, and kind of minimize your portfolio so that it's easier to focus on those things. It's, in a way, it's consolidating your money into some of the simplest stocks so that you can monitor those things, especially in a time like now where the stock market is actually just pretty much bearish and it's harder to make money by buying and selling stocks than it is just being a long-term investor and kind of buying a few individual stocks versus a lot, right? So that's what we got, consolidation. Make sure you guys take the time, review your, your savings, your finances, your credit, your stock portfolio, and consolidate those things because when it's simpler, it's easier to manage, right? Okay, so last Friday, we got jobs reports. I know y'all saw my last video. They want us to stay poor. I'll put that up here at the top somewhere along the video, maybe at the end. And that that stuff has been rallying, right? Because it, is, it holds true. The jobs report came out on last Friday. Less jobs than expected. The government, all the people, all the publicists, they happy. The stock market ran like crazy. They were happy to see people being unemployed. They were happy to see less jobs in the economy. They were happy to see that, I mean... People won't have the money to spend and live comfortably anymore. That's basically what happened. And they saw that wages did not increase anymore. So wages stopped. They didn't just stop increasing, right? That means that they started laying people off. So now individuals are not getting paid as much due to that. So we saw the wage increase stop. So, I mean, at this point, they really want us poor, right? At what point do human beings, right? The millionaires, the billionaires, the big dogs, those millionaire investors, want people to not be able to survive but yeah y'all y'all can make sure you go catch that video and watch that video on today we really don't have any major news but this week we do have cpi data coming out on thursday january 12th so that is something to keep your eyes open for right because that'll move the markets as of right now today i do believe that we started off with some strong momentum based on last week's job reports and we basically just came back down flat due to a minor sell-off uh, we can take a look at that in the market, right? So we got the Dow down 0.34% flat. The SP 500 down 0.077%, very flat. NASDAQ up 0.63%, Russell up 0.17%, and the VIX also coming up, right? FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You get you can get a lot of that FUD, especially when people don't know what's going on and we have news in the markets. But what I, what I was talking about earlier is look at this. We started the market off nice up, had a nice little pullback. Right before it took off, right? The spot took off. It took off up uh, $40 in a few minutes, right? Only for it to come all the way back down and us to be down $2.99 for the day or 0.077%. So that's what happened with the NASDAQ. I mean, with the SP500, you'll see the Dow did the same thing. The NASDAQ, pretty, pretty much every index did the same thing. Now, some of our single stocks, they did seem to hold. Y'all know Tesla, one of my favorites, but it's been taking a beating. A lot of people have been saying that they 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 can see Tesla being under $100 in the near future. I'm a long hold investor in Tesla. I do have some Tesla in my portfolio. Uh, I do hate I didn't sell at the top and then buy back again when it came down to prices like this. But I really did not. It it, it, it kind of slipped my mind because I have this in the, I, like I said I have multiple portfolios, right? One portfolio I have for all my long term stuff, and I just really don't sell it or trade or anything i buy it and forget let the money continue to build and consolidate because i'm hoping that's gonna be my portfolio that builds me wealth over the long term while right now i try to achieve wealth tomorrow <laughs> y'all know what i mean by trading the options and trading stocks 
So, yeah, we did see a lot of these stocks actually up and they ran and some of them came back down. But the, most of the index, they they had a strong momentum to the upside in early in the day, only for them to come back down later in the afternoon. Um, this right here is basically just a repeat, right? NASDAQ notches second day of gains as investors buy beating up tech shares like Tesla. So we do have some earnings coming up, right? Now, we're expecting the earnings uh, recession or something like that. People are saying that they think that earnings are going to push the market down. They're going to start seeing how bad earnings are uh, two quarters in a row, two years in a row. And it's really going to push the market down. It's going to affect the market negatively. But I don't know. We are already predicting the recession. I have not seen really any strong signs of that, especially with um, the job report coming down. We're looking good for um, another 50 or 25 basis point rate hike. If CPI comes in low. I don't see the Fed being as as aggressive or attacking us the way that they have been over the previous times, over the past few times. So, I mean, who knows? <laughs> Main thing to keep our eyes open for is just watching to see what the Fed do, because right now we know that they have been driving the market for the past year with the inflation and recession fears. So we just got to be aware of those things. Um, tomorrow, looking at this market and how it came down, I, I mean, last week I was actually wrong. Let me not forget to mention that. Last week I was actually wrong. I, I expected the market to come down to end the week on the low, right? Last week the market ended up, at, and that was based due to the job report, the good job report. The market ran like crazy last week. So actually for the week we're up on most of these index funds. So we may not, we may be down on the loan, but we're up on the previous week. So if you bought in the previous week, you might be banking about 1% to 2% already. You know, hey, or if you caught it at the top, you might even have more than that. So congratulations to y'all, you know, money makers. I myself, I have been slowing down a little bit, but I am still actively in here, right? I am I am trading every day, $100 a day, right? That's the goal, $100 a day, $100 a day. Y'all make sure consistency, as long as you learn that consistency and learn how to read your stocks, you know how your stocks move, you can't lose, right? Consistency. And don't be greedy, right? Because I made that mistake of getting greedy and I've taken some major L's in the past, but we're going to leave that where it's at, right? We'll continue to be great by consistency, consistently going for $100 a day. If we can make more, we take it, but $100 is the goal, okay? So that's really all I got for you guys today. You got to, I had to make you all aware, Thursday, January 12th, we will have a CPI report. So that's going to drive the market right when we get those inflation numbers. And the job reports already did their job. So this week, we can see a lot of trading sideways up until the CPI report. Or we can see things just pretty much bullish. But I'll be on the lookout for that. I don't, I don't, I can't make a call as of right now. But on tomorrow, we'll see what we can do. So thank you guys for joining Jersey Come Wealthy. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified. And I'll see you guys later.